Now your local weather authority forecast with meteorologist Nathan Kitchens. Well, it's certainly another hot one out there today. Temperatures will hold steady the next few hours around the lower 90s. Should see a mixture of sun and clouds out there. Rain chances are very small. Just about everybody will stay dry if you do have plans to head on out this evening. But again, be sure to stay cool. We are looking at heat index temperatures out there right now, pushing toward the middle and upper 90s. So it is very uncomfortable. At least there is a little bit of wind out there, right? But as we take a look at our future track this evening, uh, partly cloudy sky expected, really seeing little to no chances of rain locally. So I think evening plans will be fine. Pretty active tonight to our west where we'll have storms over Iowa, but you notice how they start to fizzle before they even get close to us early tomorrow. So we should be dry overnight with a few more clouds moving through later on in the overnight hours. But temperature 74 Peoria tonight, 73 Bloomington and Pontiac. Low temperature around 73 in Galesburg. So once again, it'll be another very warm start to our Wednesday. And that leads to another day in the 90s. We'll have partly cloudy skies out there. 83 by 9 o'clock in the morning. Already almost 90 by 11. We go into the afternoon on Wednesday. Just a carbon copy here. We'll see temperatures back in the lower 90s. May not be quite as breezy as today. South wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. High temperatures tomorrow 93 here in Peoria. 92 Bloomington. Around 90 degrees in Kewanee. Macomb 91. And the heat index temperature will be back in the upper 90s for Wednesday afternoon. We'll start your day with a few more clouds out there, but we should see a partly cloudy sky. Most of the day is dry. We'll see storms off to our west along the stall boundary, which is going to try to sneak a little closer to us later tomorrow. We'll have a slightly better chance tomorrow as compared to today for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. But again, these will be very few and far between. So the chances of any one spot getting rain is low, but I do think we'll have some storms develop and the area tomorrow, although they won't be very widespread. By 7 p.m., a few of those, especially north and west. And then after sunset, well, we lose the energy to keep the storms going. And then Thursday, if we do see anything, I think it's going to be north, closer to I-80. And I think this model's overdoing the coverage here. Uh, I think those storms will be very spotty in nature again on Thursday. Tomorrow, there is a level one severe risk for some wind and some hail possible in the northern portion of the state. Right now, that really is just outside of our viewing area. As far as future rainfall, again, it's really not going to be a whole lot for a lot of locations. If you're lucky enough, you might get a quick quarter, half inch, but most locations will stay totally dry the rest of this week, as the main story is going to be the heat. Again, our heat index temperatures, upper 90s today, and that continues here tomorrow and Thursday. It gets a little hotter here by Friday and Saturday. Heat index value is just over 100. So, we're likely seeing the worst of the heat still to come, and that will be for the start of the weekend with uh, another surge of hotter temperatures. So we look at 93 degrees tomorrow, 94 on Thursday, which is the first day of summer. 96 degrees are forecast on Friday. That's the hottest day in the forecast. And then for the weekend, the heat continues on Saturday, 95 degrees. By Saturday night, a cold front will begin to sweep in with a chance of a few storms, and then a morning chance of storms Sunday but a little cooler too. Highs on Sunday will drop back to 89.